consider this video to be a bit of a follow-up on a video I released 10 months ago. Warrior cuts will never be the same. I don't expect you all to remember this one, so let me summarize it really quick. The Warriors website had posted a character spotlight article on Daisy that revealed there would be trouble for the clans between books 3 and 4 of the Broken Code. I used that information to reason that a fake star and his strict enforcement of the Warrior Code is what caused these harsh times. It would make Cats question and ultimately change the Warrior Code forever. The reason this is all relevant now is that Book 3, Veil of Shadows, is finally releasing this upcoming Tuesday. And with that, we will finally get a taste of how harsh this troubling time will be. But another thing that came out of the Warriors website recently, well, two things. And they are both articles on the topic of the Warrior Code and change. Which is the exact topic of my video all those months back. This is the perfect opportunity to continue my discussion on a changing Warrior Code. So, the first article is attributed to the website editor and is titled, From the Very Beginning. This article pointed out that clan code and culture during Dawn of the Clans is very different from the modern clans. One thing that is talked about is how borders were a lot less strict back then. Cats could move freely to visit other clans, or even switch clans entirely, whenever they pleased. Another thing that's mentioned is how cats moved from voting or choosing their own fates back then, to simply listening to a leader in modern times. But the striking thing about this article is the last paragraph which poses the question, are any of these old traditions viable for the way the clans live now? And claims it's always useful to look back and see what can be learned from the past. And yeah! Cats who build relationships across borders, and the leader making all the important decisions for the clan, these are the exact two things that are stirring up all the conflict in the Broken Code. This article is saying that the answers are in the past, the answers are in the time when borders were more flexible, and the entire clan had a say in making decisions. The answer is absolutely there. If cats embrace relationships across borders, there wouldn't be so much distrust when conflicts such as the disappearance of Star Clan arise. And if leaders had some of their power in decision making taken away, corrupt leaders such as the Imposter would not be able to gain influence and cause so much damage. The Warrior Code is changing. And we have two examples right in front of us. Change 1, we respect cats across the borders and see them as allies rather than enemies. And change 2, we give each cat a voice in times of conflict and allow for diplomatic discussion within clans and across clans. Oh, and I haven't even talked about the second article yet. This one is called Winds of Change and is written by the writing team themselves. This article takes it a hundred steps further. It outright says the clans have to change and adapt to survive. So, the Warrior Code changing is becoming less of a Warrior Cats theory and more of a Warrior Cats fact. The only question is how. The article talks about how the Warrior Code really shouldn't be seen as unbreakable. If the code was unbreakable, then Cats couldn't stand up against the imposter Bramblestar. Which obviously would be a very bad idea. Also, the article talks about how unrealistic it is that the code demands cats and separate clans be so distanced. I mean, every story arc there is some force that threatens all the clans. And only when there are strong relationships across clans are these conflicts able to be resolved. The stronger these friendships are, the stronger the clans are together whenever there is conflict. And this extends to forbidden romance which will most likely stop being forbidden soon. There is nothing wrong with extending love across borders because love is ultimately what makes the cats stronger. The logic used in the old books was that you wouldn't want to fall in love with a cat you might meet one day in battle, but I think the future might just not have cross-clan battles anymore. Look at Tree. We have a cat given the job of mediator, helping the clan solve conflicts through diplomatic means. Ever since he was introduced, he never understood the Warrior Code, because he doesn't like strict, outdated tradition. Tradition is what got him kicked out of the Sisters, forcing him into a lonely life at such a young age. The article says that, as the saying goes, it is the tree that bends in the wind that does not break. And Tree the Cat is this tree. He sees conflict on a case-by-case -case basis. 
No one set of rules can account for everything. The warrior code is changing to be more flexible and open to interpretation. I'll end this video with the same sentence I ended my video from 10 months ago with. Cats need to use their emotions and reasoning rather than tradition when making their decisions.